combining parts of multiple bodies to make a single person is always a slightly tricky process. So let's look at how it's done. Here we can combine the pictures of this man, this woman, and the head of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Let's go back to the man. We want the woman's body to appear where his chest is, so let's begin by taking that out. We'll make a layer mask, where we paint in black is where the layer is hidden. Remember that if you hold the shift key down as you're painting with a brush tool, it'll draw straight lines between click points. And this can make it easier to make straight line selections. Again up here, shift, to complete that section. Don't worry too much about accuracy at this point. We're going to refine this later. And let's go underneath his chain. That's the perimeter of the mask. Let's use the lasso tool to select the interior portion. And now we can use Option Delete or Alt Delete to fill this with black on the mask and so to hide that area. Now let's bring in the woman. The first thing we notice is that she's too orange compared to the colour of the man behind. So let's use the Hue and Saturation dialog to lower her saturation slightly and bring it more into line with the man's figure. Now we'll move her behind the man and we can see how she now appears inside this shirt. So we'll move this roughly into position. And that's pretty good. Let's now use the lasso tool to select the areas of the woman we don't want to be seen and delete. The same for this arm and for the legs. Now there's a slight problem here. Her body is not wide enough to fill out all the space behind this shirt. Let's move her up slightly. We want to select a bit of this body and move it over. We're going to quick mask mode and use a soft edge brush to select the back of this woman. When we go out of quick mask mode now, we now have a smooth edge selection. Let's make a new layer from that selection using Command J or Control J. And now we can move that selection down so that it fills out the space inside the shirt. We have a bit of unwanted bikini here. We can easily use the eraser tool to get rid of that. And now the smudge tool to pull some of the flesh up into that area in the corner where it's missing. Now to make this blend in better, let's adjust the layer mask on the man to bring back some of the areas we'd hidden. We'll click on it and use a soft edged brush Now filled with white, we can paint back in a bit of his chest, under the arms a little, and above the belt. This brings with it the shadows that were originally on the man, which is far more convincing. There's now a white area behind the shirt here. We need to fill that. We'll make a rough selection with the lasso tool and make a new layer. Let's sample a colour from the shirt and fill this area. And now we can move that back to the back. Now let's add a little more shading onto this woman. There's the woman. This layer is the patch for her back. We want the shading above this. So we'll make another new layer and use a soft edged brush loaded with black to add some very faint shadows just to complete the effect of the shirt on top of her. Now for Arnie. Here's his head. Let's move him into position and use free transform to rotate him slightly so that he fits well there.
He's a little grey compared to the body. So let's use the curves adjustment to increase the amount of red in his face. And a very small increase in the amount of green. That's a much better fit. We'll make a layer mask here as well and use a small soft edged brush to paint out around his neck so that he fits well within that shirt. If we take out too much, we can switch to white and paint it back in again. Let's now go to the layer with the man's body on it, onto the layer mask again, and now paint out the man's head where it appears behind Arnie. Finally, let's make the tie match the colour of that bikini. Let's make a new layer, and we'll change the mode of this layer to hard light. That way the colour will show through. We'll use the previous layer to create a clipping mask, and that way painting on this layer will only show up where it overlaps the layer beneath it. Now let's switch to a hard-edged brush and sample a colour. We can now paint over the tie using this colour, and because we've made a clipping layer, it's only showing up where these two layers intersect. We can switch to a smaller brush to paint the rest of the tie. For a straight area like this, it's easy to do by holding shift as you click at one end and then click further along. And this paints a straight line between the click points. And there is Arnie with his new body.